So about once a year I come here and pick out a special outfit. Uh, I was on the fence about filming, but it's such an awesome place. I thought I'd take the opportunity. So as you can see, this place is pretty incredible. And don't worry, it's not just clothes. Uh, they do have collectibles. Oh my gosh, these clown decanters. <laughs> Obsessed. Uh, it's definitely a little pricey though. So I'm 5'1". Uh, I'm going to try and do my best at filming the clothes. I feel like normally I just show a sneak peek and I don't do that great job of showing the whole thing. Oh my gosh, those Afghans. Oh, what are these guys? <laughs> I have serious OCD right now. I'm all over the place. They are a little newer. They're $10 each. Muscle mug. <laughs> How funny. Oh, I'm obsessed with this fuzzy sweater. Uh, it's so soft, too. Oh, that's what I was trying to say. I was trying to say I'm short. So sometimes it's hard for me to get the full look uh, when I'm trying to show clothing. This thing's like new and it's only $20. Oh my gosh, these roller skates are so cool. I love the holographic, and I mean, come on, they have purple glitter wheels. How neat. All right, well, it's green and it's sparkly, so it's definitely going to be the first thing going in my dressing room pile. Turtleneck. It's definitely vintage. Uh, it's got the zip in the back, which is neat. Normally, I, you know, you struggle to get the turtleneck over... Oh my gosh, $28. I actually don't think that's a bad price. It's really unique and it's in great condition. Um, and it's not itchy like most glittery things are. I'm gonna try that on. I always look for fruit dresses or food dresses in general, just anything different. This is such a fun pattern, but it's one of those new dresses that's made to look old. What is that? That is quite a pattern. Huh. Ooh, I like this. Normally they have these um, Peter Pan collars and this one doesn't. It's super cute and lightweight. 18. Yeah, I'm going to add this to my dressing room pile for sure. I love the little belt. It's really airy. Oh my gosh, I love the rainbow buttons. This thing is so 80s. It's like tennis meets nurse meets secretary. I know you can remove the shoulder pads. I actually don't mind the look of shoulder pads, but I'm really short, so I feel like it makes me look more boxy than I'd like to. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I feel like shoulder pads actually make anyone look more boxy, but I'm going to put it back, even though uh, it is fun. It looks a little too big, but it does have pockets. I don't want to make it look like I'm wearing a doctor's coat, though. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this dress is pretty epic. I'm not sure where you wear this, though. Pink polka dots. Huh. I'm not really seeing uh, much that I'm crazy about, honestly. I'm looking for something, that a print that's, like, super out there. Ugh, this dress is so Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> it's... Probably not the most flattering thing, though. I'm not crazy about the sleeves. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the buttons on the back, but I'm pretty sure that's new. I'm super into orange right now. Uh, but I think this is a little too uh, straight jackety for me. Too long. Mm, I like the look, but... It's kind of thick and boxy. Yeah, I'm just... Man, I'm really kind of striking out here. The dog salt and pepper shakers are kind of fun. Uh, but that's definitely pricey. So, it turns out my favorite vendor... Oh, that's pretty. Very Hollywood Regency. Yeah, so it turns out my favorite vendor moved out, so I'm a little bummed. But I'm going to keep going and hopefully something else catches my eye. What is this? Is this an apron? 
But yeah. Huh. Oh, I like the glitter shirt, but this one looks pretty itchy. And it's a little too big for me. Ooh, this daisy dress is definitely fun. I love the pleated skirt at the bottom too. Uh, but I wish it was anywhere closer to my size. It's really nice. I am so obsessed with this rooster statue. So neat. 16. I feel like that's a good price, but I got one like it in the past and it didn't sell well. I used to have a Betsy Johnson sweater like this. I don't know what happened to it. I actually got it at a thrift store. I like this one, but it's a little too big. Whoa, what's this? This is so fabulous. It's like 70s perfection, but this is kind of like Goldilocks. One's too big and this is too small. Man, it also seems really hard to button up by yourself in the back. I love the two-tone pink though and the velvet and chiffon. Mm, 34, that's definitely a fair price. These don't really sell that well for me, but I check out the prices anyway. 12 is retail. Oh wow, I love these little flower petal girls and she has an umbrella. It's only $12, which is an insane price. It's not her original umbrella, but the fact that she is any at that price is pretty awesome. I'm gonna make sure she's not cracked. Uh, the figurine of this, I feel like the last time I sold it, it was 24 and it didn't have any umbrella. So I'm definitely gonna grab this. This is just too cute. What a fun party dress. Man, I really love this. It's definitely on the newer side. What size is it? Small. Yeah, it looks a little too tiny for me, unfortunately. Ooh, I have a pair of velvet heels. This identical shade of magenta. That's crazy. Uh, I'm not sure where I would wear this because I don't really <laughs> go to schnazzy stuff, but... 38 is a little too high for something that's not that outrageous that I'm probably only gonna wear once. Wow, this is an awesome men's shirt. <laughs> it's velvet too. <laughs> These slippers are hilarious. They're in really great condition too. Nine dollars. I'm not sure if those would sell though. I'm tempted just because they're like new and they're pink and fuzzy, but I think it might be a tough one. So there's this like weird new upstairs section that's filled with adorable planters. <laughs> it is definitely dark up here. What's this one? 16, yeah, it's all really close to retail. This is pretty cute. 14. Getting closer, but still not as much room as I'd like. Wow, this jacket is fabulous. It's in pristine condition, too. That is really something else. It's got some age to it as well. I'm not seeing a price, though. I'm not sure if uh, this is for sale. Oh my gosh, and it's got the matching skirt. Oh my gosh, I went through a stage where I really wanted one of these. Uh, it's a wool uh, student nurse capelet. So that would be the initials on one side and uh, that's the student nurse symbol. It's gorgeous, it's in perfect condition. Uh, I kinda wish I could let myself be more of a cape person. <laughs> Confession, I saw this chair and I ran downstairs to inquire about it. Uh, they said they wanted like 375, which to be honest is essentially free for this. It is original fiberglass. It is absolutely incredible. It would clean up really well. It's relatively in good condition. Um, I'm just like completely in awe. I love the yellow too. I am super tempted. Yeah. The condition is pretty spectacular. I always love the pleats on these little uniform skirts. 
Ooh, I really like this mug. It's really fun colors. And yes, I like the sex pistols. Well, I just had to pull out this jacket. I love the texture of the fabric. It's kind of like fuzzy suede-like, but $45 is definitely too steep for me. I don't think I'd wear it that much. It's kind of funny. I came here to get something for myself and all I got was a figurine for resale. 